Good morning, good morning everyone. How are you today? I hope you're doing well. It's English time and today I have a wonderful story for you and I'm so excited to start the lesson. I can't wait to start and everyone, you know what? Today we are going to use the English practice book. So please, I want you to get the book and be ready for the lesson of today. And now, let's go or let's start with our daily routine. So who can help me today to read the day and date? I need someone to read the day first. Tuesday. Today is Tuesday. And what's the date? April 21, 2020. Well done. So, everyone, by the end of the lesson, you will be able to identify story events in sequence. So, everyone, we are going to learn also about sequence. Sequence. What does a sequence mean? The sequence tells the order of events in the story. The sequence <coughs> sorry, <coughs> helps us understand what happens and the steps characters take to solve problems. We can use the words first, next, then and last to tell the order of events. So, before moving to the story, one more time, the sequence tells the order of events in the story. So, we can organize the events of the story and see what happened first, next, then and last. So, everyone, I want to talk more about the meaning of sequence and I want you to listen to me. For example, let's talk about your daily routine. What is the first thing that you usually do in the morning? So, after waking up, you go to the toilet, right? And then you, or next, you eat your breakfast. Then you go to school. Last, you go back home and you do your homework, right? So if I said to you to tell me or to talk about your daily routine, you can't say, first, I do my homework, because first, you go to the toilet, and after or next, you eat your breakfast. Then you go to school, and last, you come back home and do your homework. So this is the order, the correct order for your daily routine so are you ready my wonderful readers get ready to read the story of today let's go ahead listen carefully try to read also okay everyone let's start a shooting star carla's family got to the park in the late afternoon the sun was shining in the sky there was not a cloud anywhere. Carla and her sister Rosa were excited. It was their first camping trip. They checked the campsite. They saw big evergreen trees. A chipmunk ran on the branch overhead. Mama said, let's get things set up. Then we can go for a hike. Papa said, we can hike before nightfall. The family set up the tents and then they hiked. They got back to the campsite as daylight was fading. Carla said, Look! There are fireflies here! Everyone looked up and saw the fireflies. Then they saw a shooting star cross the night sky. What is that? Rosa asked. Papa said, It's a shooting star. Some people say you can wish on a shooting star. Then your wish will come true. Carla and Rosa quickly made wishes. Mama said, that's not really a star. 
It's just dust flying close to the earth. The dust glows so it looks like a star. It doesn't matter what we call it. I hope our wishes come true, said Carla. So everyone, task time. You have two options. You can make task number one or you can complete, I mean, task number one or task number two. And if you want to complete two of them, it will be great. So here we go, task number one, complete the sequence chart. So write what happened first, next, then, and last. So first the family got to the park, next the family set up their tents, then they went for a hike, last Carla hoped that the sister's wishes will come true. So let's move to task number two. Choose the correct answer. What does Carla, Carla's family, do first in the story? The family sees fireflies. The family gets to the park. The family eats lunch. So, what is the correct answer, everyone? The family gets to the park. Well done. So, the first event was this one. The family gets to the park. What happens after the family's hike? The family sees fireflies. The family sets up their tents or the family plays together? B. Well done. The family sets up their tents. Question number three. What is the last thing happens in the story? Carla hopes the sister's wishes will come true. Carla and Rosa see evergreen trees. Carla and Rosa play hide-and-seek. A. Well done. A is the correct answer. Sorry for this. Finally, everyone, please don't forget to upload your work. And have a nice day.